Welcome back. I believe it's, yeah, it's Tuesday, isn't it? I'm going to take a quick walk through Shamook and for a quick second here. Hope everybody's been okay. It's been a while, I know. Fortunately, I've been extremely busy work-related stuff and all that. Well, that changes my plans. I wanted to go up the steps. I guess they're closed. But that's all right. I think I had a feeling out of there. So, we're gonna leave here. And it even has a bar and grill in it. Well, anyways, let's move on. I'll show you some cool stuff I found over the week. Now here's a property I don't particularly care too much for. It's a very light, ugly site. Even though they cleaned a lot of the trash out of it. Still. I'm not really fond of the idea. Stuff like this being everywhere. There's somebody walking over there. I'll try not to put too many strangers on my videos. I don't want to upset the people, you know. But it's not really the best looking building in town. I get that, but still. The roof is bad, everything. I'm just going to sit here and rot away forever. And come on, use particle board. As soon as that gets wet, that's going to fall out. Get it. And I read X on a building for the fire department means structurally unsound, do not enter. So this building is red X'd. This needs to be a shop of some sort. But anyway, moving forward. There's another one just a block away that I find another blue light. It's a row. Two, I believe. As you see, the red X's. And it comes to a dead end by the train tracks. Used to be a factory there. Old steps there. So they're all just a frame of cast iron or some sort like that, or whatever they're made out of. This property here. So you can come back to the train tracks. You're allowed to do that, obviously. <laughs> it's really bad. Holding the wall there. Gets the whole way through. Looks like the roof is gone. It's not bad walking back here. It's really nice. I've done walked down these trails many of times. Wow, that about scared the crap out of me right there. I thought there was really something there. You see the back side. Nothing standing. I'm not actually going to step onto the property. I just don't need to really put myself in harm's way there. But yeah. A lot of that in a typical city here. That's anywhere around here, though. I mean, obviously, we have beautiful stuff, too. But today I'm focusing on some of the belated properties because you notice it more in the winter time. Here's a double set, the red one and this one. They're both vacant, they've been like that for years. This one was a couple of apartments. This one was two. I knew the people that lived in this one and also this one. And I can understand why they're abandoned now. It was horrible, horrible conditions on the inside. I mean, yeah, they look nice on the outside. But it was just it wasn't worth it. For the rent they were paying. So, all right. Let's move forward to something better, actually. I just want to say something really nice. Have beauty to it, uh, yeah. 
across the street's part of it too. Let's not try to figure out what's going on with this situation here. This is everywhere you go. I'm only walking like not even a block at a time. But they're not looking like the best I've seen in a long time. I'm getting off the street where it's a little bit safer to stand. There we go. Now let's get a real good look at this situation. What is going on here? And it's attached to one that's occupied, it looks like. So, I just see unfit human habitation. I don't know how that works out when you are attached to one like that. I never had that problem. Thank goodness. Right here, we have another fire department. Well, we have two together. For sale, of course. I like the mailbox, it's pretty cute. But the issue with this one is, <laughs> sure I'm sure beautiful city, don't get me wrong. What would you do with it? It is horribly in bad shape. I can smell the mold from where I'm standing from the inside. Shots of what it looks like. But this is definitely not the place to get a property like that. To be clear, the properties directly next to that one I was just showing you, they're very nice and upkeep and very, really good. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I know they're occupied and they're private dwellings, so I don't want to intrude on people's privacy, so I'm only showing. Maybe not the pretty side of it, but the other ones next to them are pretty actually decent. But like I said, to avoid privacy issues, I didn't want to show them. I'm going to show you straight up the street what it looks like. It's a nice view up the street. Nice traditional city. I love it. Alright, so this one... Big row. All unoccupied, connected to this. Commercial type building. And the rest of the block's the same way it looks that way. Special anyone? Holy Jesus, right? All the lead paint. This means there's asbestos too. Obviously, Red Cross. Do not X, I mean, do not enter. There's another one. It's nice and sealed up, except for that one window. The fire escape's even gone. It would have been like a store or something at one point in time. What really gets me is the signs they put up on this. No hunting or trespassing. These are something you typically find on property, like woods and stuff like that. This is the news item, so I guess they own the building too. The news item is the news team right there. They have very, very good news articles and stuff out. Yeah, but the local news team. They actually do a newspaper still. I think they use it, but then again, who knows? Then, like I said, the old post office, they're re renovating that here, so that's gonna stop being a be light soon. It's gonna be something nice. 
right, let's move on. That actually might be it for today. It's kind of wet and rainy and cold out. I'm kind of exhausted and tired and feeling a little under the weather if you can't tell. I don't have to go back to work yet today. So I'm going to get home and get a little rest before I have to get back to it, I guess you could say. Well, make this long journey home. There's a couple of that. Little front there. No one there. Another one. That one there. That's a really cool pine on it. Painted from a long time ago on there. Pretty cool. There's a real good one too. Right next to me while I was just standing. Didn't really even notice it until just now. But, yeah. This is the hazard of these buildings here. As you see, it's just the front of the building looked nice, didn't it? Let's look at the back side of it. Side, well, we're on the side of it, but. I actually have permission for someone to be on this property, so. I was just talking to a lady out front, asking what I was up to. She said, you really should come back here and take a look at this. So that's what I'm doing. Ooh, that looks like a glitch there. Here. I don't know if the camera shows it, but this wall right here is doing like a banana shape almost. I think it's about to come this way. Wow. Interesting. Say. It's like I wouldn't trust this building for the life of me. I live pretty close to it there, it looks like. Just wow. That's all I can say. There's not even a red X on this building. 